Clear the Valley. We're on your hometown station, brought to you by All American Bail Bonds, where the Neighborhood Watch is bringing you everything you need to know about Santa Clarita Valley Sheriff Station, the Sheriff's Department, law enforcement. Two very special guests with me in today, Deputy Josh Dubin. Well, and Go you're ahead. here. You're here, but I'm not you're not you're not guest. one of the two. He's not <laughs> I just want to be clear on that. <laughs> Deputy Stack and Deputy Amy Rainey, thank you again for coming in. Talk to me a little bit about how. First of all, how do you spell how do you spell Stack? Stack, which is your beautiful Labrador partner. Yeah, Stack is S S T A C K. And there's got to be a reason for that. There is a very good reason for that. Uh, Stack is actually named after Lawrence T. Stack, who was a battalion commander that was killed in 9-11. Mm. The double S um, signifies that he is a puppy program dog. So Lackland Air Force Base uh, breeds their, um, has a puppy program dog where they breed dogs specifically for bomb detection. Oh. And every dog that they breed, they name after a 9-11 victim. Oh. So the uh, double S is just indicating that he is a puppy program dog with a special meaning behind that name very cool and and now that we've gotten all the uh the serious questions and and you've been telling our listeners about how um canine units work and operate we have to put you on the hot seat oh boy and and <laughs> the reason why we do this we, we we talk a lot about you know outreach and and what's what the sheriff's department deputies are doing in our community but we also want to you know there's a lighter side you know we have we can have a little fun too you guys are people you, you live up here i do One i'm a community our, member you know, so get to know your community i feel and like kyle needs to prepare a, a, a sound a button. Like Do we have applause? any sound? Can we get an applause? Now he's, now he's got to stop playing Angry Birds, some, Deputy some Dubin. Come on. dog barking or something. Yeah. Do we have a dog bark? <laughs> I see my headphones aren't even plugged in. I... Now, it brings up an interesting point, though. As far as um, training the, the service dog for other things, like, I mean, you live with the dog, so, I mean, are you allowed to train it for, like, to shake and speak or anything like that or is that kind of discouraged because it confuses the training or no it, it doesn't confuse the training these dogs are actually extremely smart and um yeah we you know we just do basic obedience um you can do you know we do agility um stuff so you teach them to walk on those you know thin thin uh wire not wires but like the balance beams and oh, that really? kind of stuff and you know have fun with it he is a dog um and so you have to let him be a dog <laughs> How do you think, I know he doesn't have opposable thumbs, but as far as training him to do Kyle's job on the board ops, is that within you, the realm of... I we mean, might be able to do that. Okay. If it, if it gets me out of my Sorry. job a couple hours a week. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're always welcome down here. <laughs> Kyle's ready to go. He's, he's checking out. Um, so, hot seat questions. Here we go. I just kind of take it out of the realm of the Sheriff's Department for a second. Uh, what is your original hometown? Lancaster, California. From the Elcast. Yeah, Elcast. Ooh, that's a good. I've never heard of that before. I just, I just made it up right oh, now. Oh, I like Elltown? it. Oh boy, I like it. <laughs> really, really. <Elcast. laughs> Land scatter. As usual. <laughs> I like it. As usual, Kyle's shaking his head, so I probably hit the mark. Yeah. Um, best album of all time. Your favorite album. Ooh, you know, I'm gonna take it back and have to say. Um, the you can't Michael say Thriller. I did. Oh, I was going. No. Is, that, is that everybody's yeah, answer? Three, is that, do they train you on that? Do you guys just listen oh, to Thriller during that's the it, academy? Just thriller, yeah. just put that thriller, on. I feel like Billy Jean. I feel like yeah. since she did work the training bureau, that explains a lot. All these deputies coming through here keep saying yeah. Thriller. There, yeah. There's yeah. something in that. Yeah. Well, um, first job you ever had? I was a clothes. I sold clothes for a uh, retail at the outlet mall in Lancaster. A clothes sale associate? Is that <laughs> a clothes retail. sale. A retail. Clothing. A clothing store. <laughs> okay. Um, and I'm, and I'm going to need to go a little more specific than that. This is the hot seat. Oh, yeah. I sold for Casual Corner, and it's a mm -hmm. women's dress okay. store. But why are you looking at me? I, I don't know what casual it. corner is, and I don't yeah. buy women's dresses. Great experience <laughs> at, at 17, but I'm definitely not made for the retail market. I hear you. Especially <laughs> in the holiday season. Oh, and especially when you sit there and fold all those clothes, and then somebody comes through and, and then just has to... Them. Yeah, and then, you know, you're like, really? You looked at one. Why do you need to look at all of them? <laughs> fair point. Fair point. <laughs> <laughs> they all look the same, right? They do. You, they you do. Verify that. Um, reason you became a deputy. I started off as a sheriff explorer. Um, I was a Lancaster sheriff explorer. So as a teen, as a young adult? As a teen. You? I was oh, cool. uh, 17 years old, and I had no idea what I was going to do outside of high school. And once I became a sheriff explorer, I was like, this is it. Okay. This is it. And uh, favorite meal while you're on the job? Anything out of my lunchbox. Oh, okay. I bring my lunch every day. 
So you're not on a special uh, vegan, uh, anything like that? Oh, no. Okay, good. No, no. Okay, good. <laughs> That's healthy. <laughs> Bring me lunch. Matter yeah. of fact, I think I have some uh, leftover steak and uh, some salad in my lunch we, today. We get half of that. We get half of like, oh, whatever I pack in the lunch and bring something healthy. And then the rest of the people are honest. No, yeah. I'm just kidding. Yeah. Well, we, <laughs> we do. Okay. I will say that we have a favorite uh, place we like to go occasionally um, during the week. And uh, we like to go and eat pho. Okay. The Vietnamese soup. Sure, sure, sure. And uh, we have our favorite places. So glad you pronounced it pho, by the way, because I've gotten into discussions with people who like say pho, pho, pho. Because you could say, you know, what the pho. But, you know, <laughs> pho, it's great. Right. Is, that, is that the right pronunciation? <laughs> I've, I've always is been it? told it's pho. It's pho. Yeah. Well. Um, best part of the job, aside from helping people? Working with my dog. Okay, that's fair. You that's know? easy. That's an easy one. Um, favorite cop movie or TV show? Um, wow. I'm going to have to say the new... Uh, 21 Jump Street with uh, Channing Tatum. I like that answer. I like that answer. <laughs> That's a biased answer. Biased <laughs> answer. <laughs> why, is that, why is there bias suspect? Because if there wasn't a certain actor in there. No, it no. Okay. I, like, I, don't, I, can't, oh, okay. I don't know I the other kid's saying. name, though. I Shocking. Yeah, <laughs> I, but I know who he is. I just don't know his name. we got to take a quick commercial break because when we come back, we're going to answer a few questions from our community members in the Santa Cruz Valley. So uh, we'll be right back after this commercial break on your hometown station, AM 1220 KHTS, Neighborhood Watch, brought to you by All American Bill Bonds. Welcome back to your hometown station on AM 1220 KHTS. We're on your Neighborhood Watch. We're talking about all things Santa Cruz Valley related with two, three, Excuse me, Sheriff's Department deputies, Deputy Stack, Deputy Amy Raniag, and Deputy Josh Dubin. Um, so we were learning a little bit about Deputy Raniag, and uh, now we want to talk and hear from our community. Um, I got two, a couple questions submitted. The first one was for Deputy Stack, but I'll let you uh, answer that if you're okay with that. On his sure. behalf. On his behalf, on absolutely. Behalf. Was a question about um, our dogs, um, do, do uh, bomb-sniffing dogs like the one that you're uh, on patrol with, do they wear bulletproof vests? We, um, on my team specifically, we do not uh, have our dogs wear bulletproof vests. They do wear a harness, um, but it, there's, not, there's no protection behind that harness. Um, so, yeah, there is a potential that if I were to get into something um, dangerous, he could also have the uh, propensity of being hurt. But. And as far as your experience, you've been with the, the, uh, the bomb unit or the, the bomb sniffing dog portion of it the, the entire time. So you haven't worked with, um, like, say, narcotic sniffing dogs or cadaver dogs or anything like that? Or? Correct. Okay. okay. Um, but th do they all run the same? Yeah, you with, know, um, with you like... see them all equipped the same? With the narcotics dogs, um, they're usually brought in, um, like, during search warrants and after the fact. So there's really there's the dangers. Danger. Yeah, there's less uh, of a sure. danger. Um, whereas, like, our patrol dogs, when they're out, physically out looking for felony suspects, um, which is, you know, the heightened alert, um, they may or may not. I, I have no background on that. Gotcha. But there is the the uniform of the day here. It does say Sheriff's Department on it, and... Right. It is clearly marked. Absolutely. And Deputy Stack is behaving so well. Yes. <laughs> was so so friendly earlier and now. It only he's took fifty five minutes. <laughs> it only yeah, took fifty five minutes. <laughs> so we had another question from Michael Smith, uh, who asked us on Facebook. Um, who and how do I ask for more police presence during elementary school drop off and pickup times? Uh, we see people drop block driveways, jaywalk, stop in the middle of busy traffic to let kids out, use cell phones. Um, etc. And it's frustrating. And I, how do I get the sheriff there consistently? Um, how do we do it? As a father myself, I can tell you that that concern is absolutely real. Um, as dropping off kids at school, it, it, it certainly is a concern. So it, I mean, anywhere where you have oh, absolutely. hundreds of people, you're going to have Correct. traffic situations. But what can we do about it? Well, if you have a specific school that you want us to really focus on, obviously mm -hmm. Santa Clarita, we have over 50,000 students in, mm -hmm. in the Santa Clarita Valley. So if you have a specific area that you really want us to focus on, uh, reach out to our traffic department. Traffic sergeant's name, Sergeant Cohen, great guy. Um, you can always reach out to your zone leader. And if you don't know who your zone leader is, if you go to our website, santaclarita.last.org, top left-hand corner on the left-hand side, who is my zone leader, punch in your address or the address of the school, and it'll tell you that. The zone leader is in constant communication with not only the traffic deputies, patrol deputies, the crime deputies in that area. And the zone leaders are the ones who help allocate resources for the absolutely, station, right? Absolutely, absolutely. So, you know, every school has their own unique concerns. Um, you know, where I drop my kids off, obviously, its own unique concerns. Right. Uh, and we would like to, you know, have somebody at every single school, but obviously... You know, they rotate around and, and they, they And there that. are school resource officers. And the school resource deputies also help out, you okay. know, with the high schools and the junior highs and obviously with the elementary schools. So 
traffic department, zone leader, and then we will we will certainly focus on that on that area. But again, you know, they rotate in between all the schools. And, and what I like about the about the zone leader program is that there's somebody for every kind of section. So if you're in Saugus, you I mean that that deputy that you call in Saugus is going to know the area. He's oh, going to yeah. know the issues. Oh, and he's going to yeah, know absolutely. concerns. And probably already know that you're you're talking about and see if he can help you address or address those specific yeah. concerns at those specific times. So absolutely, that's a great question. Speaking of traffic concerns, we we had a little bit of a there was a concern. Over the weekend with Paul Walker's, uh, the anniversary of his death, him, him and Roger Rodas were in the fatal crash in the Porsche, and that drew thousands and thousands of people here last year right. um, who were, you know, recognizing his life or their lives and, and just kind of, you know, honoring the memory. What was it like? I mean, it was Sunday. I heard there was there was a crowd there, but it wasn't quite as... There was. You know what? I worked the original uh, Sunday after the after the fatal collision, and then I worked this past Sunday. Um, obviously, a fraction of the people this past Sunday was raining. It was cold. But we, we did have hundreds of people uh, turn out, most of which uh, came from out of the area. Some traveled uh, Long Beach, Monrovia, Inland Empire. Uh, I think at our peak, we had about 500 people. But throughout the day, we had, I would say, thousands of people that came paid their respects, left stuff on the sidewalk, different things like that, and then, then left. And one thing I definitely want to ask you about, um, for parents out there, you're, there's going to be a presentation tonight with the school district and with your street, Deputy Josh Dubin. That's You're right. Talking. If you haven't had enough Deputy Dubin if, today, if you, you can come and see fill. me. At, you can come and see me at Placer to Junior High tonight at 6 p.m. And we're going to be talking about social media, some safety for teenagers, um, some criminal stuff, you know, in, regarding sexting. Right. And then that's something you've talked about don't, with the city before, too. Don't give me that luck, too. Perry. That's crazy. I just... I, don't give me those I'm eyes. <laughs> I wasn't yeah. going to identify you as the expert on sexting until you said that, but... No. Now, and now, now both now of you are looking two at me. Talks. Now you've given two talks on it, though. So I think I feel like that's fair to say that you are the ex an expert. Um, no, and, and again, if parent, parents want to get good information, they can come to the meeting, and there's going to be a hard district representative and oh, yeah. yourself uh, also talking about it. So definitely go there. Six o'clock, you said, at Plaza yes. Junior High? Correct. And on that note, Deputy Amy Rainag, Deputy Stack, thank you for coming in. It was great to have you guys. Great information. Deputy Josh Dubin, pleasure is... Uh, all yours. <laughs> Thank you for having us. <laughs> All right, on your neighborhood watch brought to you by All American Bill Bonds. For you, bad boys, bad boys.